and welcome to the Sleepy Fox Yarn Podcast. My name is Holly. I am the host. I live in North Carolina with my family. Um, this is a podcast about crocheting, knitting, um, the yarn I'm hoarding, some shop updates for my business, and occasionally some other crafts that I feel like sharing with you. So I just wanted to say welcome to all new subscribers and viewers and welcome back to all returning subscribers and viewers. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. Um, so yes, let's get into it, shall we? I thought I just heard Emma crying. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm trying to think of what I need to tell you. I am looking very spooky today because we are in October. It is October 11th. I'm actually filming on a Saturday today instead of actually filming on Sundays and then putting it up on Sunday. <sighs> yeah, I um, have been doing Vlogtober, so I have been filming a lot and editing and putting stuff up and having a lot, a lot of malfunctions lately. So I feel like this eye is more smoky than this eye. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh well. Anyways, I'm looking super spooky because we're in October and I'm doing Vlogtober and I feel like being spooky. It has cooled down quite a bit um, here in North Carolina and it has been so nice because I've been so sick of the heat. I've been over it. I'm done. I want fall. Okay, so um, announcements. We are still doing the Making Christmas Mal. Um, the only requirement is it either has to be a gift or something made for Christmas. Um, because I have been working on Christmas makes since June, July. So I figured there are probably some other people that have already been starting on Christmas gifts for others. So I figured I'd make it a really informal make along. There will be a prize after in the thread. It's pretty much, if you chat in there, you have the op opportunity of getting a prize um whether it's an fo or not um so yeah that is over in the ravelry group um so yeah yeah i think that's it um oh one thing the october yarn and candle clubs went out and unfortunately I will not be doing the third installment of the fall autumn yarn and candle club because it just did not make enough money let's put it that way I did not sell enough and basically it ended up costing me more to do it than I made money so yes because I thought I still had all my candle making equipment <laughs> I was wrong. Somehow it got left behind when we moved to North Carolina from Virginia. So I had to repurchase all that stuff and that's a pretty penny. So um, until there is more interest in it, it's probably not going to come back for the next month, unfortunately, because I really liked that and it was fun and yeah. Um, I will be working on the Christmas advent calendars this month and they will be shipping the beginning of November. I would say within the first week of November they will be shipped out. So today, tomorrow, I will be dyeing up yarn for that. So now that we've got all that out of the way, I got some stuff to show you guys. Sorry, my nose all of a sudden decides it wants to run. <laughs> I sounded like Squidward. I have two FOs to start with. So I will start with the first one. So this first one is a beanie, which, hold on, I'm going to do this one off camera real quick. Oh yeah, it is it's a little bit short. Okay. So this is the first beanie that I finished. This is in the, um, Mainstays Basic Yarn in... Blanket Slate Varg, if you can see that. There we go. Take my face out of it and it can focus. Um, this is going to be for my grandpa because he asked, oh my goodness, I am so sorry. 
my nose <sighs> for whatever reason is just freaking out man okay so this is the hat um i'm trying to think i believe i used the mm, the uh pattern that i used for this hat was the everybody knits for everybody one on knit picks and it is their um brim their top bottom up hat sorry can't think um they have one that's like from the center down and then they have one from the bottom up so that is the one that i use the bottom up it's in their first one that everybody knits there's an everybody knits for everybody one and then there is a two this is in the one um so yeah that is the pattern that i use for this and it actually worked really well i was <laughs> Oh my god, I look like a boy. <laughs> okay, let's not do that. It doesn't look good with your hair up. So, yeah. There is that hat that... Here, let me turn it this way because it seems to want to go that way. So, yeah. I actually really liked the way this came out. I wasn't a big fan of the colors, but I'm like, you know what? They're neutrals, but they ended up actually looking pretty nice in the actual workup of the beanie. And the second one, using the same pattern, I made a second hat. Um, so this one is a Red Heart Soft. I know this is not it. I mean, I have the ball. The ball. But the um, ball band's gone. Or is it not? No, right here. It is the... Red Heart Soft in Off-White, and then I also use the Red Heart Soft in Navy. Um, so, yes, this one ended up being a little shorter for some reason, like, it didn't quite, so I like my beanies to kind of cover my ears, and it kind of half sat on my ear. What, bud? I'm filming a podcast. Go to Daddy. So, yeah. That is my second FO. Technically, it's not an FO, but technically it is. I still have to figure out what kind of pom-pom I want to put on there. Whether I want to do a, like, yarn pom-pom with the white on top, or if I want to do a faux fur pom-pom. I don't know. What do you guys think? Faux fa faux? faux fur, sorry, or white yarn. So I have a couple colors of faux fur. Um... Like, I have, like, the white with gray, and, yeah. I have a couple other colors. I just can't think of them right now because my brain is... <laughs> okay, so there is one other project that I'm currently working on, but I'm not showing because my grandmammy watches. My grandma. My grandma watches, and I don't want her to see her gift. So that will not be showed. That is a whip. So that is off to the side hiding at the moment. Um, so the next one I guess I'll show is this one because you've kind of, if you've been watching any of my lives or my Vlogtober, you've seen some of the progress that I have done on this. This is the Naptime Sweater by Minima Knit. Um, it is a paid for pattern. I can't remember how much it was. Um, but I really like it. I think it's a super cute, easy to read sweater pattern. It, it's super nice. Um, hold on, let me kind of, there we go. So I believe when I showed this last time, I was just, I was doing the raglan increases and I wasn't even done with them yet. I still had to tweak it because one side had way too many stitches <laughs> on it and the other one did not so this is where I am at on the little baby sweater oh my gosh it is so cute <laughs> I love little baby sweaters it's just like I don't know I guess it's that thing there's a name for it but just like when everything is smaller it's cuter that's what I'm having right now okay. so I am on the bottom ribbing I'm actually almost done with it I think I was getting ready to bind off and I'm trying to figure out a bind off that I would like 
um, that is stretchy. Um, so yes. And then I just start working on the little sleeves. I am so excited about this guys. Um, so no, I do not think so. The yarn I'm using is paint box yarns in the baby DK in the color 745. Um, this is a 45% acrylic, 55%. Yeah. I cannot wait to finish this little baby sweater because it'll be the first one I've ever done. And then technically this is like the second sweater I finished. So <laughs> I'm super excited about this. Um, I really hope my sister likes it. I hope my niece likes it and it fits her because that would be the worst thing possible is like say she outgrows it before it's even ready to wear. <laughs> that would be annoying. Um, so next up, I don't have the pattern book to show you because my printer ran out of ink. Um, but all the links and the yarns I use, the links to the patterns, um, all of it will be linked down below in the description box. Like always, that is basically where I put all the show notes for podcasts is down below. I know there were a few where it got really screwy and there weren't any for like hours after, sometimes even the next day, but it has gotten better. Um, I have figured out how to record from my phone and upload to my um, computer to edit without it being a huge process or ordeal. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I am doing the carved pullover and I cannot remember the name of the girl, but her Instagram is real big stitch. Um, and this is where I've started. Um, Lacey and I, she, um, my friend Lacey, who has the Hooked on Owls podcast, I messaged her on Instagram like, oh my gosh, have you seen this sweater? And she's like, oh my gosh, no I haven't. Okay, I don't know if she said oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm improvising. <laughs> um, I'm paraphrasing. There you go. She had not seen it and we talked about doing it together and honestly I am trying to finish the baby sweater first because those are the needles I need now after I have finished the cuff of the sweater the cuff the neck collar collar the collar the collar ribbing of the sweater um so yeah oh, I just hope this isn't gonna be too tight around my neck or it's gonna drive me bananas um so yes this is the collar ribbing to the sweater and this is the big bad boy that I am using. This is Lion Brand Pound of Love in Oxford Gray. There we go. Um, I bought this for a sweater. I was hoping Nick would like the lighter gray, but he ended up liking the really dark, like charcoaly gray. So I'm using this for my pullover. Now it calls for a DK weight yarn. I did a swatch. <laughs> Professional over here. I actually swatched. I swatched, um, but my swatch, my gauge was off. Not by a whole bunch. Like I think it was 24 stitches per row by 34 stitches stitches like 34 rows and I got 22 stitches for 31 rows so not crazy off but I did figure since I am using a thicker yarn that makes sense um so basically I worked out the math and figured out which body measurement to use or like the body stitch count. Once I figured that out, I was able to pick a size that had the same or very close to stitch count, you know, because if it's not super duper tight, I don't mind. I, I don't mind if my sweater's a little loose, like 
not so loose that there's like six extra inches of ease, but a little bit looser, you know? Um, so I ended up picking the size that matched closest to the stitch count on her pattern, and that is the size I'm working, which I can't remember what size it is now. Because <laughs> like I said, I don't have the actual like pattern printout. Um, I'm kind of using on my computer, so I'll pull up the pattern and I'll like knit using my computer. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, so I'm just waiting to finish the baby sweater so I can get my needles because I can't keep affording to buy $9 needles every time I need a new set <laughs> because I have something else on the needles. So this is kind of sat for a few days now because I wanted to finish the baby sweater first. And I fin I got most of the body done in one night of that baby sweater, just watching um, a few episodes of Salem. When I say a few, I mean like half the season. <laughs> I totally binge watched it, I think from episode five, season three, episode five and on in one night. It was bad. But I was so hooked. I was like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen next? I cannot go to bed. So, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this untangled so I can wrap it up so it won't be a mess. Um, so, life update. Um, I have been doing Vlogtober, not very well, but better than last year. <laughs> last year I think I had like four videos up, five videos up, and gave up. Yeah, real winner there. Um... <laughs> But I feel like I've done a lot better this month, and plus this month I'm also going to be showing the Halloween Advent calendar starting the 19th. So it was the 13 nights of Halloween, so I wanted to open up the large skein on Halloween, so 13 days before Halloween is when I was hoping people would start opening it, but my I didn't put any instructions in the box. <laughs> That totally, like, went over my head. I was like, wait. Because Becky of Funny Farm Crochet, I love Becky. She is the freaking best. Um, she's, like, the best customer a, a, a yarn dyer could ask for. She's amazing, and I love her so much. And she's funny. And she's also from North Carolina. <laughs> so, you know, she's my favorite so far. <laughs> Um, she's already started opening hers on her podcast and showing it. Um, I can't remember if she said she was doing Vlogtober or not. I haven't seen any because I had to go through all of my subscriptions because my kids had gone on and started subscribing to all kinds of kid channels on my account. And then when I would cl click on my subscriptions, like everything was kid videos everything and I'm like I could never find podcasts I couldn't find anything I typically watch and I was like okay I gotta go through I gotta get rid of all these random subscriptions because it's driving me bananas so I did that and I've actually been able to like catch up on podcasts like try and watch some get some vlogtobers in from other yarny people it has been so nice I'm like no wonder why I wasn't watching anything because the freaking kids videos were just overrunning everything and it's been like that for a while now so like I just watched as I was doing my makeup I watched Hannah's new episode that came out this morning I watched um Carrie Penny's show and tell well I got halfway through it because I was done um so I got halfway through hers um show and tell that she's now in her new house so I am watching them again <laughs> I felt like I was like being neglectful to other podcasters because I haven't been watching and I'm like I felt like I could never find them but now I can because those damn kids video like kids channels they'll post like six videos in a day and I'm like how do you how how do you manage to post all these in a single day? Like, I don't, I don't get it. 
And then my husband, for whatever reason, I think he didn't realize he was on my account and not his. And he subscribed me to this thing called Playscope Trailers, which are all these game trailers. I am not even kidding you. In four hour period, they had posted over 12 game trailers. And I'm like, stop it. <laughs> Stop it. This is insane. So yeah, that's why I wasn't watching anything because apparently I couldn't find anything. <laughs> but now I have found them. I have been watching and commenting, you know, letting people know like, hey, I do watch you. Like, I felt like, I don't know. <sighs> I've come to realize I have some pretty crazy anxiety that like I subscribe because I like the content, but then I don't watch, and then I feel guilty about it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need, to, I'm a podcaster, there are some of these people that I've encouraged, like, hey, totally start a podcast, that would be awesome, and then I don't watch them, because I couldn't find them, and then I felt guilty, and I'm like, oh god, <laughs> I couldn't, I, I couldn't figure it out, like, yeah, I felt guilty, so now I am watching them, I have I'm trying, I'm not going to catch up by any means because I mean, I, there's been months of me not being able to find them and watch them. So not that I couldn't find them. Like I could have gone to their individual channels. But that's a lot of work guys. A lot of work. You know, sometimes I just want to click on my subscription tab and then just see what's new. That's it. So with that being said, I'm watching podcasts again. It's just so nice. Um, also watching other people's Vlogtobers is nice. You know, seeing ideas of what they're doing because apparently I really just suck at vlogging because I'm always like, oh, I have to do this when I could just set up my camera real quick and just record the process. I completely forget and I don't do it. And I'm like, oh, that could have been really good footage. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, life stuff, I'm going to be posting a Vlogtober video today as well as the pot. Well, no, the podcast will go up tomorrow. Today I'm going to do the Vlogtober video and then I'm also going to record for another video. Oh, oh. That's going to be like a new little series that I want to do. Um, I've brought this up in a Vlogtober video, I believe. And I've also brought it up in the last live that I did on YouTube, which is I want to make a series of showcasing patterns. Um, because there's so many channels that are dedicated to yarn reviews. And yes, there are those, they will review a pattern when they've made it. But I feel like there isn't enough time to make every single pattern right? Like we know this. It's crazy. The amount of time it takes to make something is long. So what I've decided is I'm going to make a little series of finding new patterns because I feel like it's also really easy to get caught in the trap of making what's new or not what's new, what's hot right now on like Ravelry and like, oh, that's a really cute pattern. I'm going to make that. I haven't made it before and everyone's making it call me the um the hipster of Ravelry but I want to try something new that isn't necessarily crazy popular at the moment because I feel like it's really easy to get stuck in that oh well I'll just make what's really popular right now and I feel that's an injustice to some designers because there are some amazing designers out there that don't get the same I don't want to say advertising because it's not necessarily advertising the same like <sighs> I can't think of the word but basically they're not seen as much because they don't have a name out there for themselves yet like you know there are so many like crochet and knitting designers that you hear their name and you're like instantly you know who they are what their patterns are and you know all this stuff and I feel like that doesn't happen so much with smaller designers it's hard to be seen it's hard to 
get out there and get your patterns seen and known and get a following. So hopefully I can help by doing this little series because let me tell you, I have gone through Ravelry just a little bit and I'm like, oh my gosh, there are so many freaking patterns that I found, which I know everybody looks through Ravelry. There's tons and tons and tons of patterns, but I also feel like there's a lot of patterns that are so-so. Mm, they're okay. Like, I want to find those designers that are newer, that have amazing things, and you're like, why have this, why has this not been seen yet? Like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Which, I have found some. I'm sorry, I'm like sitting here like playing with this, this yarn. <coughs> so, that's kind of my goal. And it's not that I'm like, trying to say other designers aren't good enough to be seen. Like, that's not what I'm saying. It's just there are some that are amazing designers that never really get the traffic, and they deserve it. So, with that being said, that is something that's going to be coming up, and I think I'm going to call it Pattern, Sh Pattern Showcasing Tuesday or Pattern Showcase Tuesday, Pattern Discovery Tuesday. I don't know. Something like that. Tuesday or Thursday? I'm thinking Tuesday. Um... That way I can film it on the weekend and work on the editing and stuff and post it on Tuesdays. So yes, that is what's going on. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I went to the grocery store this morning. Fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful week. And I will be podcasting again Will I be podcasting again before Halloween? I will make sure I podcast before Halloween because my podiversary is coming up and it will be two years podcasting on October 30th. So I'm super excited about that. Boop, boop, podiversary. Okay, I'm going to get going. I will let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.